We're live on both. Hey friends, you know what it's time for, right? It's your favorite video of the Lee Brown year, which is time to pack your bags to go to the National Association of Realtors annual conference in Orlando. And so I want to tell you though, we are taking the live video up a notch this year. And instead of you trying to take down notes of all the cool things you're going to want to take with you, we made you a little Amazon shopping list. Yes, that's right. You know, I'm kind of against Amazon, but I'm also kind of for it sometimes. So to make your lives easier because you're realtors and you have zero memory and inability to write things down and you're just totally going to forget. There will be a link showing up here in the chat here in a minute that you can click on to go get all the stuff that you need to have a successful conference. And so if you're logging into this and you didn't know, the realtors have an annual convention every year and it's really big. It's thousands and thousands of realtors and we're converging on this year Orlando and the first day of stuff is November 9th and we'll wrap things up on Sunday the 13th. The board of directors will meet on the 14th. So maybe you've never gone before. You should know it's totally worth the money and it's worth the time. And I'll give you some tips on how to manage your expenses because if there's anything you know, Lee Brown is, it's cheap. I'm so, you know, cost effective. And so anyway, that's what we're heading for here. Now, this is looking like it's going to be one of our largest conventions in years. A, because it's in the land of freedom, also known as Florida. And B, because a lot of realtors have really missed out on going to the convention for the last couple of years and you're ready for some networking. So here's how you're going to be successful for a multi-day conference with realtor friends from all over the country. The first thing you need to do is get your business cards lined up. And I'm going to be totally controversial with this because I am very wildly against the idea of bringing a thousand business cards and spraying and praying. That's tacky and it's gross and it's Frankly, I'll just be a green person for a minute. You're ruining the environment with your little plastic coated cards if you're just throwing them around. Now, since you also know that I am not really a hippie, I'll also tell you I'm cheap, right? And so I do buy expensive cards. You can always tell by the stock. You know, I flick somebody's card when I meet them and see if they're investing in their business. You know, it's a good way to tell something about them. Although I don't have the Moo cards because they're really swanky and I never did invest in those. But Moo, if you want to give me some free ones, then you're welcome to. They'll have a booth in the expo they do every year. But anyway, I'm going to take about five business cards, maybe a couple of spares. And it's well worth the money to get one of the little who's he what's it's for the back of your cell phone that you can put business cards in. So you have a couple with you at all times because, look, y'all are not going anywhere without your phones. So you may as well put a couple of business cards in it. And yes, mine is Captain America. And no, I do not have um, superhero powers except for being able to talk nonstop and circular breeze. And I think that's a superpower. It's unappreciated. But anyway, the reason I only take five, maybe 10 business cards with me is that my purpose in meeting people at a conference is to get to really know a few people. As in, I want to sit down with you and drink a cup of coffee or maybe a nice bourbon, neat, maybe on the rocks, depends on what mood I'm in. I want to find out about your business. I want to find out what you did before real estate. I want to know about your family. I want to know where you're from. What's your specialty? What are you here to learn? What are you here to give? What is your goal in life? Why in the world do people go to a convention and try to hand out 400 business cards and not even know the person who's holding it? I want to know who you are, right? I mean, that's the beauty of relationships. And frankly, do I really have to get on my soapbox about how we've destroyed relationships over the last few years? We've turned everything into social media and we've made everything really, really surface when in reality we're supposed to actually have some kind of deeper communication and meaningful relationships with each other. Um, audio zone, but no visual black screen. Hang on a minute, Instagram. You guys can see me, but apparently the real world is having trouble over here on the interwebs. Anybody else having that problem? Lisa's got a black screen on LinkedIn. Let me check my settings over here. I see it's good on my end. So I don't have the foggiest idea what's happening over here. Let's see. Lisa, I don't know if anybody else is having that problem. I don't see anything. Hang on a minute, Instagram. Look, y'all have it and the rest of the world does not. Let's hit stop cam and start cam. Okay. So anyway, that's why we do live video because things happen. But anyway, back to real business cards. I also was taking a class. I know Kara, right? We love Instagram. It's a happier place. Anyway, I was listening to my Karen Carr friend. She's from Savannah and she teaches YouTube classes and she's freaking amazing. And by the way, she'll be at the NAR conference. And so I'll talk to you about the things you don't want to miss. 
you absolutely want to listen to Karen, but we disagree on something because she doesn't like these things. She likes the little QR code -y things and they're cool, right? And they're very easy and I dig easy things. However, I'm an old person or medium, I'm medium aged. I can find this later. If you make me scan your QR code, I'm not going to find it later, y'all. It's going to be over there with the other 40 open tabs in my DuckDuckGo. And frankly, most of my open tabs are either discount outlets or it's recipes and cooking tips. And then the rest of them are chicken related. I'm not going to find you. So take your decent business card. And for the love of all that's holy, make sure your phone number's on here in the city that you're in. I get so aggravated when I see people's business cards that don't have their city. How am I supposed to know? Where are you located, people? Come on. Now, if you don't have business cards that you like, you can go to gotprint.com. I almost feel like I owe them money because they're so cheap. Gotprint.com. Get you some business cards that are decent and carry them with you. Now, I did get an idea from Karen that I could put the QR code to my YouTube channel on the back. But frankly, look, y'all already watching me on YouTube, so I reckon that's fine. All right, so that's your first tip for the conference. Now, let's see. What you want me to talk about next? Oh, you want to know what's on the shopping list. Okay. You need these RFID holders. You want to know why you need this? Because you're going to be staying in a hotel. And this is what keeps your hotel room key from deactivating next to your telephone. Ah, see how much do you love me now? For $6, you can get like a dozen of these or 10. I don't know. I'm a realtor math. And then you can have one for your room key. And you can have one for your other room key. Because if you're smart, you keep one in your pocket and one in your backpack so that when you can't find it, and you have to use it to get up and down in the elevators. It's crazy. You won't have killed it. And you'll have to go to the front desk and stand in that line. Look, you just owe me like an hour of your life because I saved you having to stand in line at the front desk because your card deactivated. And I'm not going to make any judgment calls about who you give cards to. But you may have a conference friend who needs to have a room in your hotel because maybe they are RRC people, the Residential Real Estate Council, and they're in a different hotel like I'm in the Hyatt. And so I may have a friend with a Hilton room and a friend with a Hyatt room and a friend with a Marriott room. We share cards. So there's somewhere to go breathe for 10 seconds if you get a chance, because that's pretty much in short supply. But also if you get 10 of these, what could you do? Oh, you ready friends? Put your business card in it and go make that them some of the first friends that you meet when you get to Orlando. Look, see, you just help somebody out and it's not expensive. And now you're the best friend for life. Now, you're also going to need to have a water container with you because who knows where the water fountains will be. You need to be hydrated. And somebody gave me this YPN Yeti, and I don't know if this is the one I'll be carrying, but I'll have some realtor-related thing in the jig. Oh, and speaking of YPN, that's the Young Professionals Network, and you don't have to be young to go. As young as a state of mind, you know, because our past president, John Smaby, always shows up, and he's young at heart. And so you want to show up at these events. This one is ticketed. So if you don't have a ticket for the YPN event, you need to get one. Now you can go on Facebook and find some of those YPN Facebook groups. Generally, somebody has purchased a ticket they no longer need, or they can't come to Orlando or what have you, but you're going to have to beg, borrow, and steal to get a ticket because Rob Reuter, who's the staff member over YPN, he will run you off at the door if he doesn't like your ticket. And for the record, Rob ran me off like eight years in a row. I think it was personal, but you know, now he loves me. And so let's see, what else you want to talk about? Um, we'll get into what you need to go to in a second. Oh, I'll show you the rest of my shopping list. You need to have activated charcoal. Now, if you don't know why you need activated charcoal, you should know that I'm kind of a hippie, I guess, although I prefer to think of myself as somebody who just avoids big pharma in any way possible. And so you can be on my list of people if you agree with me. But activated charcoal helps you keep the problems of alcohol out of your system. Now, some of y'all, I'm, I'm not going to judge, but realtors like to hang out with each other a lot at our conventions. And so if you take an activated charcoal before you go to receptions, you won't have as many headaches the next day. Just spoiler alert, that's on your shopping list. And speaking of your shopping list, y'all know how you hug people and they have old base foundation on and then you have a little mark on your shoulder of their color of foundation. Because, you know, people wear makeup, especially in the winter, because, you know, our tans are just gone with the wind. Here's what you need. You need to get some Barbasol shaving cream. Or the, this is the Rite Aid cheap brand because 
I'm Lee Brown. All right. This is your basic white shaving cream. And I mean, not the gel, not any of that stuff. This is the stuff like my papa used to use. And this, if you put a little bit into that makeup that gets on your shoulder, gets you a dry cloth, it'll rub right out. And now you will not ruin your clothes because you hug somebody too tight because you're a realtor. Now, to my realtors who are on here who are coming to the convention and you are not a hugger, I'm going to lovingly say to get over yourself because it's a hugging kind of a place. And if you're not into hugs, this might not be your convention. I'll just point that out. Although you had to check that little box on your NAR badge that says you're either green, yellow, or red when it comes to hugging people. Spoiler alert, everybody's a green at the convention. So get you some shaving cream. And by the way, because this is more than three ounces, this is also the spoiler alert that this is the one event where I don't take my little suitcase. I take my big one because you have to have some things. And this bag also has some Epsom salts in it. <laughs> Look, I know I'm an old person. Love me anyway. The Epsom salts are because my feet hurt at the end of an NAR day. Y'all, you're going to put on about 25,000 steps a day doing the convention right, going from meeting to meeting. And there is something about getting back to your hotel room if it's got a bathtub. Now, I'm just going to point out some of these schlanky hotels nowadays just have that grotto walk-in shower. I don't care for that. I need that all-in-one tub and shower combo so I can fill up the tub, put in some Epsom salts and soak my feet. And yes, I said it. And yes, that's the real world. Okay, now speaking of your feet, let me tell you what else you do need. And y'all have been hearing me talk about these for years. I love them. I love my Rothy's. Now, Rothy's are machine washable and they're made out of recycled whatever. But I like them because they're machine washable and they're comfortable. And for those of y'all that don't wear flats a lot because they hurt. And gentlemen, this is really for the ladies. So you just tune me out for a second or buy some for your wife. That's fine, too. There's a little bit of arch support so they don't hurt terribly. And those of y'all that know me, you know it's fully expected that you'll see me wearing these and my high heels will be sticking out of my backpack. And then right before we walk into meeting, I'll slip on my high heels so I can be a grown-up for a minute. Because ever since the COVID, y'all, I'm just out of the habit of my high heels. I'm trying to get back into it. But here I am making my video in my flip-flops because of my high heels are in the car because I was at the Salisbury Row-In luncheon earlier to hear Dan's final president remarks. And it was very good. And I'll post his video because it was a good reminder for y'all. So anyway, get you some Rothy's and I do have a coupon code for that where you get like $20 off. And Victoria, who is our vice president of marketing for NAR, she was trying to get them in the expo. I don't know if she got them or not. So I'm going to check the app. I'm really, really hoping Rothy said yes, because holy smokes, they would make money. And there was a shoe lady at our mid-year meetings in Washington, D.C., the 12-hour heel lady. She was European heels. Y'all, she sold out everything she had. So if you want to buy some good shoes, leave some room in your suitcase when you come to the conference. And that is not what you expected at the Realtor Conference with shoes. But speaking of things you don't expect, you should know that the Scarf King is there. And this is probably the most exciting and popular booth at the NAR conference is the Scarf King, where you can get scarves like this one. Oh, yes. Blue on one side and then purple on the other. It's like a the RPAG scarf. Look, it's purples. And this was, I think, $10. The Scarf King is so affordable. If you're looking for client gifts or for referral gifts, I mean, go see the Scarf King. But you're going to have to wear pointy elbows, y'all, because it is wall to wall. People at the Scarf King booth, you might have to throw some elbows to get the scarf you want. But then you also have something warm in the meeting rooms if you get cold, because I know realtors get cold in the meeting room and you got to have a scarf handy. Or if you don't want to have a scarf, because maybe that won't match your outfit, you can get you a nice realtor jacket like mine. This came from the realtor store, which is, I think, store.realtor. And I call this from the Bob Turner collection because it's in safety orange. And y'all know this is my favorite jacket because it wraps up real small and it lives in my backpack so that I am not going to freeze in the meeting. And frankly, y'all probably never even saw me wearing it because it's camo. <laughs> okay, so anyway, let's, let's look too at what else you need to have. Keep some hand lotion with you. These rooms are cold. And you will get dry and cracked skin. So keep your hand lotion. I stole this from some hotel. See, so just take it out to your hotel room. I'm going to have my turmeric and ginger instant drink mix in the morning for inflammation because I'm middle-aged. What are you going to do? The shoe coupon code. Nancy, I'll have you that link here in a second. It's for Rothy's. I got a whole file. My team will be adding it here in a minute. They might be distracted right now. We'll get it sent over to you. So anyway, that was that. And now, oh, okay. So I mentioned before that some of y'all like to have a friend in your hotel room. And for 
a lot of us, we have a conference spouse because it's cheaper that way. And if you're a new person coming to realtor meetings, you should know that most of us have somebody that we stay with on the regular. For me, it's occasionally Heather Osier from California, but now she's in the California leadership line. So she got a room and I'm in North Carolina. So I got a room. So now we'll trade room cards and have a spare place to stay. But one of my association execs is going to spend the night with me because, you know, saves a little bit of money, right? And we're good like that. But because I'm a good friend, I have matches in my bag. And if I have to explain this, and I really don't know who you people are, but if you're a good roommate, you have matches in your room and then you will stay good friends. And so that is my advice to you is to be good friends and have matches around. All right. So I'll show you all what else is in my realtor backpack for this event. First of all, my realtor backpack came from the realtor store. And I should tell y'all too, it's actually cheaper in the realtor store with the big realtor R on it than it is on the Amazon. I don't know why. Maybe it's volume discounts or something. But I'm going to show you what you need to have in this for a successful conference. Now, this is not when you want to carry a cute pocketbook. It is more important to be useful than to be cute sometimes. Now, in this bag, I have some realtor relief pens. And so I am the vice president for the Realtor Relief Foundation. So if you make a donation and you want a pen, you should probably remind me that I have these in my bag because I forget sometimes and they ride, they ride around with me. So these have been in several states. I have some more business cards here in case I run out. And I have an extra Ziploc bag here that has some special things in it for some special people that I will be looking to encounter in the hallways. And then I showed y'all where I have my little room key. You need some earbuds because not everybody needs to hear all your business. Okay, let's just remind us of that. Okay, now this is a very important one here. And let's see, Michelle says, okay, she's got the link right here in the comments for you to go. Michelle, can you add that to all the networks? Because the YouTube people are looking for it. Okay, now, traveling potpourri or poopery, I think is what you meant to say there. Poopery. It was on Shark Tank and they should have invested in that one. Okay, so this is the best mint ever invented and it's called Fisherman's Friends. And this is the mint flavor. This is, we call it the speaker's friend in speaker world. Because if you get a frog in your throat or if you just lost your voice from running your mouth all night, this will bring it back. I don't know how. I don't know why. Yes, there are chemicals in here that Lee Brown would normally stay away from because, you know, I'm not a big pharma person. This is amazing. You need to know this. If you go to buy Fisherman's Friends, do not repeat. Do not. Instagram, do not. Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, do not buy original flavor. I am not responsible if you buy that nasty original flavor, which is the worst taste ever invented in the history of man. You need the mint flavor. It's very good. This will save your voice. Now, you won't think you need this. Look, some of y'all are like, oh, Lee, I don't talk that loud. I don't talk that much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, till you get to a realtor meeting, you have to holler to be heard in the bar. I mean, in the general meeting. So anyway, get that in your bag. And now here's what else needs to be in your bag. Now, I'm a speaker, so I'm going to be speaking, and you want to make sure that you've downloaded the app. It's called NXT. If you signed up for the convention, you got the email that said download the app. You can save your schedule now, and you can feed it to your Apple or Google calendar. So let me tell y'all when I'm speaking. I had to write it down because I forgot. I will be with the Women's Council, yay, and that would be at their opening member welcome where I'm doing my keynote called On Your Style. And it's it's kind of funny. I'll just point that out. And that is at 715. Lord, that is early. That's on Thursday, November 10th. And then I'll be speaking, doing my seven deadly sins of sales. It's completely updated for 2022. And there's more than seven. And that is at noon on Friday the 11th. And then at on Friday the 11th at three o'clock, I am moderating a panel, which means I get to have this giant hook and the timer for the current Women's Council President, Sylvia Seabolt, the current NAR President, Leslie Ruta Smith, our incoming Vice President of Association Affairs, Margot Willis, and Rebecca Thompson, who is past president of some Women's Council things and will be doing some more things <clears throat> with NAR soon once she says it out loud. And so anyway, that'll be at three o'clock on Friday afternoon. And then I do have a booth, by the way, in the expo. So you can come visit me after you go to the Scarf King and get bruises on your elbows. So anyway, I was going to show you all in my little sack here. You want to make sure that you are the good egg 
bring yourself a multi-charging tool with all the little USBs on it, because y'all, there are not enough charging stations anywhere in the convention center. So if you're the lucky one who finds a plug, don't be a plug hog. Get yourself a plug and then put this in and then all your friends can come over and see what are you doing? Networking mm -hmm. while you charge your devices. You could be the helpful networkers. I'll put that back in my bag. And by the way, this is a reusable ziploc -y kind of thing so that I don't have to feel as guilty about the number of Ziploc bags that I use. And if you watch my cooking channel, you know I use way too many Ziploc bags because I love it. And then in my bag here, I have my other emergency kit. So look, I have emergency kits. So if you need something and you see me, I probably have it in my bag. I'm my mom. And now that my children are teenagers, I have to mother other people. So if you need me to mother, you just come on. Spare hairspray, because obviously the higher the hair, the closer to God. Hello, this ain't rocket science. I've got an emergency toothbrush and toothpaste because <sighs> you know why. I don't want to have bad breath. And I don't like to be the person who has to tell other people they have bad breath. How did that become my job, y'all? And there's a couple of people. I have had other members. Hey, Lee, will you go talk to X about the breath? And I'm like, why? Why, why me? I think I'd rather maybe I'll carry some extra toothbrushes and toothpaste and not have to be that person. But maybe I will. And that's what it is. I have Band-Aids because you never know when you're going to need a Band-Aid. And somebody's got to be the mom. And most importantly in here, I already mentioned to y'all that one of my forever convention wives is Heather Osier. And she told me this tip a long time ago. And it is like the best tip ever. Well, after saving your room key and teaching you to filter charcoal, there's a lot of best tips ever. Look, you need this. This is called athletic tape. And that's all it's called in the drugstore. And it's a couple of bucks. It's not much money. This is the stuff that would hold on your bandages and, you know, survive if you have a, a real problem with the wound. <gasps> but you know what it really does? This wee tiny bit of athletic tape on the back of your foot. If you pull a blister because you were... Um, I was going to say dumb. I'll just say short-sighted enough to bring brand new unbroken shoes to a conference where you're going to do 25,000 steps a day. Put this on top of the, of the blister. You will not just survive, but thrive. So make sure that you spend this little bit of money. It's on the shopping list, by the way. And it's probably the one thing every year I tell y'all about this. And then you don't realize how you're going to need it. And then you come find me in the hallway. So you say, Lee Brown, I need some of that tape. And I say, I got you, boo. I will help you out. And so make sure you put that in your bag. And then also in here, oh, I did have some emergency mascara in here that I had to loan to Georgia one time. And she's very beautiful. And I couldn't believe she did not have her mascara. So we shared. And I'll just remind you with that, that sometimes your best connections happen in the most unexpected places like the ladies room. Now, I don't know what happens in the men's room. I prefer not to know. But anyway, you're also going to see me with several pairs of my readers because I'm medium age. These are blue blockers, though, and I like to read what I'm looking at. So you'll see me with those. I'm also going to have some more things in here, like my extra notepad, my sunglasses. I got a Sharpie in case you need me to write on something for you. And I have protein bars. I like Oh, look, I just forgot. Oh, Built Bars. I heard about them on Jason Whitlock's podcast, Fearless. I love me some Built Bars. And so I'll have those because at the NAR conference, you might be so busy, you don't have time to eat and you need to eat. So make sure you do. And let's put this back in my bag. All right. Now, what's up next? All right. So gentlemen, I need you to tune out for a second unless you're shopping for your wives. Ladies, I'm going to help you out here. So on Thursday evening, we have the inaugural. So that's where we'll install the leadership team for NAR, and which will be our incoming president, Kenny Parcell from Utah, incoming president-elect Tracy Casper from Idaho, and incoming first vice president, Kevin Sears from Massachusetts. It's a big schlanky dress-up event. It's kind of like a realtor prom. It's our big chance to dress up. And I don't know what I'm wearing yet, but I found this green dress on clearance at Marshall's. And you know, clearance at Marshall's is like cheap times cheap. But it's a little bit on the snug side because I'm medium aged. And so here's the secret you should know about. If I'm going to be able to wear it, frankly, I can't eat between now and uh, next week. So just so you know, if I'm faint in the head, it's because I'm trying to fit into this Marshall's dress. So this is the best shapewear ever invented. OK, it is not Spanx. And I really admire Sarah Blakely, except that she sold out. She was a privately held billionaire and sold out to a hedge fund. But I'm not judging. OK, fine, Kara, I'm judging. Honey Love is like the shapewear. Here's why, y'all. Look, it's got, that's the backside. You can tell on the design, it's got this crisscross. It's um, 
what was that cross your heart bras that were around in the 70s and 80s? It's like cross your heart, but right here in your, your bay window. So I don't want my bay window to stick out, see? So I put on some honey love and then I won't have a bay window nor a bow window. And so now you know way too much, but if you two are looking for shapewear, the good thing about this one is it's breathable and it's hard to get on and hard to get off like all of them, but it's better than the rest of them. And so you got to buy that online right now if you want it to get shipped to you in time. And that's Honey Love. And you can thank me later, uh, but you might be like me, be breathing. So look, Kara says we all do it. Uh-huh. So you know about it. So anyway, if I'm not wearing this one, you'll know why that I'm still working on getting into it sometime because I got it so cheap. I will wear it at some point in the future, but you may also see me. And this, and if I've ever installed you as a realtor leader, it was probably in this black jumpsuit because I install a lot of people. If you're being installed as a local or state president and you want me to be your installing officer, I'll be glad to do it. And this is what I'll be wearing because I will also go to the RRC buddy love. I don't know, Steve, you have to find out, but I mean, just, you know, hook sharing up. And I'm just going to say that she probably doesn't need it because she's all trim and stuff, but you would look good for thinking. So we have the Women's Council installation is on Saturday night. The RRC, which is the CRS, there's an installation for them too. There are evening events all the time. I'm just going to go for packable, right? So go for packable and not needing to be ironed, but you're going to have some dress up things. But because there's dress up things and there's also people who are drinking and they're not thinking while they're hugging, this could cause something to land on you. So I keep an emergency dress in my bag. I highly recommend an emergency dress that is inexpensive and goes with everything and goes into about two square inches of space. Look, that will go in a pocketbook. It will go in a backpack. And now I have an emergency dress. And I'm just telling you, if you want to live a happy life, have an emergency dress so that nobody has to know that you have had a big snafu. Okay, now on Friday, we do red. So this is a Stephanie Jones project. She is from the Upper Peninsula in Michigan, and she is a new member of the Realtor Board of Directors. So good job, Stephanie, getting elected. Friday is red where we remember everyone deployed. So you wear something red, red pants, red top, red jacket, red dress. But you'll see a lot of Realtor red running around, and that's why. So pack something red. Now, you know that I am not a big person for being super casual at professional events because I believe that realtors are very valuable professionals and we should actually look like it on occasion. So this is about as dressed down as I'll get is my little red britches I probably wear with a little black top. And so then it will just look business casual. But that's if I'm not speaking or instructing because... You, you have to think about how you're being perceived, y'all. I mean, I hate to be the one to remind you, but it is hard to overcome a negative first impression. And especially this is your first realtor conference. You want to put off a very good impression as you're there to learn. Now, I did tell you I don't like to be casual, but I will. This is my favorite pair of pants. They look like jeans, but they are yoga pants. These are by Ink and Burn. And Ink and Burn actually changed names. I don't know what they're called now, but if you can find these, they're probably on clearance. You will see me in these. You probably think I'm wearing blue jeans till you walk up next to me and try and rub my leg. And I will say, what are you doing? And you'll say, those are yoga pants, Lee Brown. And I will say, yes, they are. And they're very comfortable. So um, don't rub my legs, though, unless I've invited you to. That's tacky. Now, speaking of legs, if you want better legs, you need to be doing your cardio even while you're at a realtor conference. <gasps> you like that segue? You did. You did. So, Kara, they're ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, I forgot to show you the best part. So Kara is from the Northern Virginia area. She is an instructor, past president. She's all the things. But look here, girlfriend. There's a cell phone pocket right here in the front, kind of melded in. Your iPhone sits right in there, and then you don't have to think near anything about it. Plus, it's not on your backside where somebody could steal it. It's right on your front thigh, and people don't tend to mess with somebody's front thigh. I mean, I don't, I just, for the record, you know, I'm a concealed carry, but I don't conceal carry at the realtor event because I don't know that that's welcome. But anyway. I probably shouldn't have brought that up. Now it's going to be a rule. Oh, well, if you want to walk, if you want to run, if you want to be physically active, of course, there's fitness rooms in the hotels, but that's boring and that's not fun. If you want to be sociable, you got to join our Facebook group and it's called Real Tour Runners and Walkers. And if some wonderful person who is in my group can add a link or the name of the group here in, in our Facebook group, which is a private group, okay? So we have to accept you. We'll check and see if you're a realtor to keep the skeezers out. We are gonna be able to say in there what time and what locations we're leaving off from which hotels. 
It's all paces are welcome. You might be a meanderer. There will be a meandering friend for you. If you are a power walker, there's a friend for you. If you are a prancer sizer, I don't know who your friends are, but there could be a prancer sizer too. I am a runner, but I am not super fast. I am medium. I slog sometimes as a slow jog. And sometimes I go faster when we talk politics. All of us run faster. It's kind of funny. But there will be young, fast people, middle-aged, medium people, and um, older, slower people. You are welcome. And I will tell y'all, that's my favorite networking of the event. If you want to spend time with me, then you should come out and run at 4.30 in the morning. And then you will get the best version of me, frankly, because I am worthless at 9 o'clock at night. But at 4.30 in the morning, I'm awesome. So pack your running shoes. And when you do that, you also should know there's some really good packing things. These cubes are all over the internet, but there are some for your running shoes because they'll get stinky and you keep the dirt out of the way. They'll probably be humid because we're in Florida. This will help you save space while you're packing. And now normally I show y'all how to fold your clothes, but I did not get everything ready today because I have to speak to the school board tonight and I have to prepare my remarks because somehow I have to get it down inside of the two minutes allotted because I have some things I need to say to the school board tonight. So if you want to see those, you can go to, thank you, Kara. You can go to the old packing videos and I show you then how to pack into a cube size space to save you a ton of space while you pack more than you need. Oh, I wanted to tell you which to show up for at the event. So make sure you download your NAR app. If you are a first time attendee, here's your inside scoop. You need to know what region you're in with NAR. So look up your state and what region you are. North Carolina is region four. That's Tennessee, South Carolina, Kentucky, and um, ten, what's that? Uh, North Carolina. <laughs> North and South Carolina, Ken, Kentucky, and Tennessee. Your state has a region two. And on our schedule, you will see a caucus meeting. That's where you will find out what's happening inside the association, what's happening inside your region. And you'll hear from your leaders it's a very good time to ask questions prior to the board of directors meeting. Now, the board of directors meeting is not a closed meeting. It's on Monday. Anybody can go. Not anybody can participate, but there is a gallery. So if you've ever wanted to serve, what a great chance to go see if it's something you're interested in. And speaking of service, maybe you've never served on an NAR committee before. Well, the convention is a great time to find out what the committees do. So when you go to the app, look up the committees that are of interest. Maybe you're interested in federal taxation policy. Maybe you're interested in commercial issues. Maybe you're an appraiser who wants to talk about valuation stuff. Maybe you want to do member communications. Whatever is your jam, look up the meeting. And if it does not say closed, you can go. And you really should go sit in the gallery and start listening, see what's happening in the way of the association. We do so much work. I mean, this is the world's largest grassroots organization. What a great chance for you to go see what's happening inside your association. And then my pumpkins, if you like what you heard, now you apply to be in that committee when the application process opens up next year. And now you may have something really good and pertinent to add to the conversation. However, if you open up that meeting, for example, the executive committee and it says closed meeting, it's not that we don't love you, but those are private conversations based on our governance. And so you're not allowed to visit those unless you're on the committee. So just have a look. There are hundreds of opportunities. Now, speaking of opportunities, I already told y'all I'm teaching there so you can come hang out with me on Friday the 11th at noon. You can also go hear speakers like Karen Carr. She will teach you YouTube like you've never heard of it before. So you don't have to buy leads anymore. Spoiler alert, quit buying things from the companies that want to destroy you. But you could learn about your brokerage teams working with the Hispanic community, working with the LGBTQ community, working with older buyers selling your business. I mean, you name the topic, there's probably an educational session for you at NAR. And don't forget Women's Council. There's educational sessions there. If you're not a member of Women's Council, it's a good time to join. There will be classes for people who have CRS designations in the RRC track. So go check those out. Are you a member of the Realtors Land Institute? The Land Institute has a meeting too. There's so much to do. It's overwhelming. All I can tell you is this. It's worth being there. It's worth you dialing in. And if you don't know where to go, please just message me, text me. My phone number's on everything. I mean, for heaven's sake, look, I will show y'all my phone number because I'm not scared of the internet. 
507-5500. My area code is 704. Text me. I might not answer if you call because I scream, but if you text me, I will tell you where you could go. I mean, lots of the leaders will. I see a lot of names here in the comments and over here on the Instagram as I go back and forth. So many of our leaders would love nothing more than to spend five minutes helping you figure out where to go to make sure you don't miss Venus Williams when she does her presentation. If you're a political junkie and you want to hear Carl Rove, I can't wait to hear what they say a week after. Well, no, not even a week after the election is next Tuesday. So make sure you vote. And then right after we get to NAR, we can hear from Carl Rove immediately after the election happens. How cool is that? So there's all kinds of ways to figure out what realtors are doing in the community. So thank you for visiting me so you can pack your bag effectively. I'll see you in Orlando. And if you see me in my camo jacket, then come hug my neck because I love nothing more than seeing my realtor family. And I'll see you guys very soon. I should do a do, 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 do.